This does not look like Mumbai. Is this Mumbai? But we're in Mumbai. <laughs> Good morning from Mumbai. As you can hear, it's a crazy busy city, but we're gonna go around the city and try the best food that Mumbai has to offer. But the trick is to only do that on $10 which is roughly about 800 Indian rupees. So the first place that we're coming to is Ashwad Apahar and Matai Guru. I don't think that I have said that right, so I'll leave that name over here for you. So the food we've come here to try is called Misal Pav, which is apparently a famous breakfast you have to have in Mumbai. Is your stomach gonna handle this, seeing that you had food poisoning? I hope so. I'm gonna take little bites and I'm gonna share a little bit with Daniel because I feel like my stomach has shrunk, but hopefully I'll be okay. Hi, how are you? The fine, sir. I'm good, you open? Yeah. You can eat it? Do you have puff? Yeah. Yes, yes. Hi, how are you? Yes, oh, thank you so much. This place is very nice. It is. <laughs> it's like a proper restaurant. I was expecting like a food store on the side because they do have one in the front, but they've actually got a huge restaurant too. It's Lawn Gallery. Oh, thank you oh, so thank much. You, so much. you can taste it. If you like it, you grow it. Uh, okay, thank what is it so called much. again? Kande puri, onion Kande and, puri. and rice is puffed rice. Okay. Oh, there we have the oh, masal pao. So pao is actually a Portuguese word for bread. Thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. That does. That looks really, really good. So one of the guests here was eating her breakfast and she decided to give us a little bit to taste. It's like a rice and onion dish. That is really yummy. It's spicy. You can definitely taste the spices but it's not like overpowering with spice and it's it's yummy it's good i could eat this for breakfast she said that this is a good thing to have for breakfast because it's very light on the stomach mm. that's actually not too spicy this i could definitely have for breakfast so this is what we've come for the masal pao which is basically a curry that is made out of moth beans and then it's got tomato and onions and coriander and it looks like it has some of this crunchy stuff on the top here as well but I see there's a lemon so I'm gonna squeeze the lemon over and then I'm gonna take my pao which is my bread and I'm gonna dip it in there just grab as much of the, the gravy and the moth beans and the stuff on top and give it a taste That is really good. Oh, is that the curry to add, hey? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh, we got more curry to add with it. Wow. <clears throat> that is yummy. Very spicy. Very, very spicy. But it's good. It's a nice texture and I like the crunch that's in it. What I'm going to do on mine is I'm actually going to add a little bit of the gravy. Put the gravy here on the side just so I can dip it. And I'm going to try that. I'm just going with the flow over here of how to eat this dish. I must eat it the way that I normally would eat food. I'm gonna be grabbing all of that, dipping it in this sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh, that gets the back of your throat, eh? <laughs> it doesn't burn your tongue or your lips, but it gets your throat immediately. Oh. That is a very spicy dish for so early in the morning, but it's got a lot of flavor, to be honest. Not a dish that I'd be able to have every single day, especially for breakfast, but once in a while, I could enjoy it. <coughs> so we've ordered ourselves a tea in order to cleanse our palate for our next dish. Apparently, this is the way we do it here in India. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, it's I'll a little bit hot. <laughs> oh, that is a very sweet tea. Mmm. Tastes like it's got quite a bit of milk in it. So all Ooh. that spicy thing, it will clear. Yeah, it's gonna clear it now, hey? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Have a Enjoy. Day. Shame she was so lovely and so sweet. She was telling us for how we should eat the dishes and what we should order and what's good and what's not good. And she definitely recommended the tea just to get rid of those spices. So it was lovely to meet her. We actually only came out for the missile power, but I think we're gonna be having a few more things because looking at our $10 budget, I think we can go really far today <laughs> with it. I'm quite surprised. I think it was gonna be too little, but I'm, I'm quite curious as to see how much the food is going to cost later on in the day and what we're actually gonna be getting. Sweet dish. Sweet dish, thank you. So this is the mudak, okay? So with the mudak, we have to cut it open and then pull this inside. Okay, so this is the mudak and then this is ghee. 
So we're gonna make a slit in the mudak and then we're gonna pour the ghee in the middle. And then we're gonna take a bath. Mmm, that's yummy. It's not overpoweringly sweet, but it's yummy. It almost looks like a dumpling to me. If I had to see that, I would mistake it as a dumpling. So apparently here in India, you need to end every single meal off on a sweet note. And that's why we've ordered the modak. Mm. I am a person for coconut. And this is just all right up my alley. Check how busy this place is already. <laughs> that means it's a really good spot to have breakfast. So after eating the most popular breakfast dish here in Mumbai, we have a total of $8 remaining, which means that that cost us only $2. And we literally had a missile pub, two waters, a tea and more duck. I'm really so full and have no idea how we're going to eat our next meal. So this is where we've stopped to come to a restaurant called Ashok Butter Pub, where we're going to taste one of the dishes that Daniel has been looking forward to the most. Oh, here it is right here, Ashok Vada Pub. <laughs> this seems to be a street food vendor. <laughs> well, it's rated well on the internet, so we're going to give it a try. Hello. Hi, hi. Namaste. You make Vada Pub? Ooh. Are we going to get one or two? One. Oh, there he's just grabbed it. They already prepared it. Just one, one. Just one, Ick. just one. Egg. Egg. <laughs> They've got everything prepared already with some sauces. Looks like some chutney. There they're putting a potato dumpling and as well as some crumbs, eh? Crumbs, crumbs. <laughs> and sauce? And sauce? This liquid chutney, you know, sweet chutney and spicy. And this uh, red, hati masala. Hati masala. Uh, okay. Oh, with the chili as well. Oh, Thank you, Danya Vart. Bro, look at that. That looks delicious. Thank you. Kitna. 30. 30? Wow. That's a fully loaded butter pub. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. So this has only literally cost us less than half a dollar, which means we still have seven and a half dollars left. So I'm now starting to think that a $10 challenge should have been a $5 challenge. This is a lot of food. Yo. I'm full just looking at this. They really packed it. But what a Vada Pav is, is it's basically a dumpling with inside a bread. It almost looks like a burger, if you could say that. And then they put this, I don't even know what they call it, at the top. But it looks crunchy. Yeah, it's like these crunchy biscuits that they, not biscuits, but like a crunchy chip. Like a chip. Yeah. And then they've also added some chutney. Yeah, I think this chip was the same thing we had inside the the masal puff or the masal pao, but I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> they've also added two full chilies here on the side, but I won't be trying the chilies because I don't think that'll be good for my stomach. So I'll leave those chilies for Daniel. Now this is also a dish that is native to the Indian state of Maharashtra. I hope I've said that right, but that's where Mumbai is. So this is the perfect dish to be eating here. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. There's so much flavor, so much spices. You can taste the chutney, you can taste the the vada pav inside and all the spices and flavor coming together. That is really, really good. You're actually able to see some of the potato dumpling that's actually inside here. There Leanne took a big chunk out of it. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be so good. Mmm, wow. We've tasted a vada pao before in Dubai, but it had a gold leaf on top. And that was our first experience of a vada pao. But the spices on that one was very bland. The spices on this one is stuck, it's alive. You're not getting a very big hot sauce in here and the chutney is creating a bit of a sweetness taste to it. It's really, really nice. That is really good. Mm. I, I really never, like that. Yeah, I never thought vegetarian dishes would be so good, but my mind is starting to change just because of India. Look They're wanting that. to try it with the chili. Oh, okay, you know what? How do I eat it with the chili? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Do you just take a bite with the chili? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let me do this. That's gonna be so hot. 
<laughs> that was a bad idea. You took like half the chili. Let's go for gold. <laughs> he really took like half the chili. I thought he'd mm. take like a small little bite. Oh, the left side of my face is starting to burn now. <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea. Not the whole chili. <laughs> like a tiny bite. Oh, hold this. There's water in your bag. <coughs> oh. That was not a good idea. No. That was not a <laughs> not a good idea. Ooh. My face is on fire. Yeah, I can see you're starting to sweat. I think I started to sweat, yeah. <laughs> Look at the amount of people that I have. I mean there's even people here eating. There's people eating, there's there. I saw on the other side there's even more people eating. So this little street food cart is super popular. I wonder how many butter pubs they actually sell in one day. I mean, there's so many people here. It looks like they were making so many, so I'm sure they sell a lot. Hi, uh, you speak English? No. A little bit. How many you sell in one day? Three? Yes. You can speak English? I can speak little, little only. Let I can understand, but... Oh, uh, okay. Yes. I want to know how many they sell in one day. I don't know that. Can you, are I'll, you? I'll ask him. Yeah, please, yeah. man. I just want to know. Yeah. For, uh, please. <laughs> so I found a lady that can speak English and is asking them how much they sell in one day. Oh, they're not saying. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. That's what. No problem. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank, you. No Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So they won't tell us how many they sell in one day, but I'm sure they sell so many as it's very popular. And it sounds like it's been popular for a very long time. As this lady who was telling us this says that she's been coming here since she was in university. All right, so with seven and a half dollars left, let's carry on with our food tour here in Mumbai. So to give us a break from the spices, we've come here for something different. So a place that we've come to that I see is recommended online is called Haji Ali. Yeah, they don't have something that's spicy. And we're going to be buying one dish here for the both of us because apparently it is huge. Do you even know what we're getting? I don't know what we're getting, but it looks like something to do with fruit. It almost looks like a fruit bar or a juice stand. Look how many fruits there are. There's pineapple and oranges and lemons and geez, pomegranate, strawberries, lemons. There's just so much here. They said the best thing to try over here is the strawberries, but it does get mixed with something else. So I think we're going to be doing the strawberry one. Oh, I love strawberries. This place has over 13,000 reviews, so you can only think it's going to be good. Yeah. I hope so. You can tell that a place is good when there's just packs of people standing and queuing to get something from here. Hi, thank you so much. You can speak uh, Hindi? No. No Hindi? No Hindi. <laughs> so how are we going to order? I don't know. I don't even know how to count. <laughs> how are we going to ask what's the best food? Uh, hopefully someone can speak English and they'll be able to help us. Hi, how are you? Uh, what's the best? Fresh, Ravini juice and very plain mulberry kiwi mix, mulberry and strawberry mix juice. Mulberry and strawberry mix. Yeah. Oh. That sounds Ooh. good. Do you think we should take that one? Yeah, maybe. Um, sure, but strawberry not the best. Strawberry the best, hey? Where's the strawberry here? Oh, strawberry juice. Uh, uh, the mixed the, juice. The mixed juice, is that the best? Uh, mango, strawberry and kiwi mix. Triveni. Mango, strawberry. Triveni. Check, they have all these little juices over here. Mango, strawberry and kiwi mix. Yeah. Is that the best? Yeah, Okay, give me one. Give me one of those, please. Hey? That sounds good. I'm up for a fruit juice. We can see the prices here are actually quite expensive. So um, our $10 budget now is definitely going to go this way. <laughs> to think that we've eaten already so much and it's cost less than what one of these things cost is just crazy. You can see there at the back they're busy making the juices. Oh. 
We actually don't know what's the best over here, so we're just going with his recommendation. I'm sure his recommendation is the right recommendation and probably the one that makes him the most money. <laughs> <laughs> probably, but if you've been here before and you have tasted something that we're not tasting, leave down in the comments below what we should try maybe next time we're here. Oh. It also looks like they have some like puddings. So it looks like they have some like strawberry or mango or even like berry yeah, puddings. Mulberry. Mulberry. <laughs> mulberry? Is that mulberry? Yeah. Oh, yummy. How much? Yeah. Yeah. 300. 300, eh? Yeah. yeah. 20. Ah. That is a 20. <laughs> yeah, 300. 8, 16, 24. That almost cost us four dollars. So we have like three and a half dollars left to enjoy the rest of the food that we have here in Mumbai. <laughs> and it's only half past 12. Oh my gosh, this is now starting to be a real challenge. Oh wow, that looks delicious. Thank you. What's in here again? Strawberry? Strawberry and kiwi mango. Strawberry kiwi mango. Oh, that looks good. You can see all the different layers. So strawberry, kiwi and mango. And they've even given us some strawberry, mango and kiwi on the top. They've even given it to us in a proper glass. So we have to stand here and eat it on the side of the road. Because I think we have to return the glass when we're done. <laughs> I got a full mouthful of mango because that's at the bottom. I feel bad for mixing it up, but I'm sure it would taste good if I did mix it up, but that is so yummy and so refreshing. I think it's just a, basically a fruit juice. I wanted to try one of the cream ones where they put the cream with all the fruit, but I went with the owner's recommendation, so that's what we had to do. Mm. Woo. I'm getting a lot of mango in this one and that tangy uh, strawberry taste from the strawberry but what I'm doing is I'm basically taking a sip from the bottom all the way to the top so I get like everything <laughs> I think that's the right way to drink it <laughs> that is so good and refreshing I'm so glad that we're having a break from spices but now we literally have three and a half dollars left in order to try the rest of the food that we need to try here in Mumbai. Considering what we've been able to get this morning, I'm sure the three dollars will still go far. I think this is our fun drink of today and even though it was a little bit expensive, it's still really good. They've given us a spoon as well, just so you can grab the fruits and eat it. <laughs> Leanne's a fruit person, I'm not, but this is actually super delicious. I wish I was on a beach right now. Oh, yes. You know, in my costume, swimming and having one of these things. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Maybe with a little bit of some percentaged water would be good <laughs> as well. <laughs> Can you have ah, Thank you. Yeah, mm. mm. it's Really good. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going down a little bit more south of Mumbai. We are in the southern region because this, that's where they say all the good food is. So we're going to head a little bit way more down south in order to try something different. So for our next dish, we've come more to the south of Mumbai. But behind me is a train station and this is the train station that we're going to be taking to go to Goa in our next video. That is incredible, right? But in front of me is a place called Canon Pav Bhaji. And Pav Bhaji is the very next meal that we're going to be having here in Mumbai. And it's apparently a very, very popular dish to have here. Hello. <laughs> there is the place. You can see there's so many people around us. Everywhere. They've got even some juice here. I think that's Lassi. Is Lassi? Lassi. Buttermilk. Lassi, hey? Ah. <laughs> you want Lassi? Uh, I'm alright for now, but I love Lassi. <laughs> uh, here is the place. It's called Cannon. And apparently this is the best place to have Pav Bhaji. There's even a sign here that says Pav Bhaji, best in the world. There it is, best in the world. Right, you look how much they have over there. That's actually a vegetable curry and that is bread. 
So a puff budgie is basically a vegetable curry given to you with bread, but they butter the bread as well. We've had a loo budgie before, so I'm sure this is gonna live up to how amazing that was. And you can already smell all the spices here just standing and waiting to order. People are even eating. There's like a little table here in front. And check, everyone is like eating on the table. <laughs> I don't know how we order. Hello. Hello, uh, namaste. <laughs> can we have one pub budgie? One pub budgie. Yeah, one. Cheese. What's the best? Cheese. Cheese. Okay, give the best. I want the best one. <laughs> Cheese sounds good. Once again, we're just going with recommendations that they give us. <laughs> Clearly, they know what sells best here at the shop, so I'm sure that's what they've recommended to us. Check, they're starting to make make one over there, puff budgie. You can see the potato on top with all the spice and the vegetables around. So they've got it hot and it's like a massive, massive wok. Oh my Thank god. You. With some cheese on top. Thank you. Uh, is that lassi? Lassi. Can I have one lassi? <laughs> oh, we're getting a lassi now as well. I'm sure this is going to be quite spicy, so I'm sure the lassi will dial down those spices and we'll be able to enjoy it. We only have 290 Indian rupiah left, which is basically like three and a half dollars. So I don't know how much this is going to cost, but I think it's going to be within our budget. We've just ordered it without actually asking how much it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, that's our last one. How good does that look, eh? It's already so hot here in Mumbai. Yeah, and I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to try another spicy dish. <laughs> but this dish, as you can see, has got some butter and cheese melted on top of the budgie. So I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And then here is our bread. So this is what the budgie looks like. It's basically a vegetable curry. And then they've just added the cheese on top. But whew, that already looks spicy just by the color. Not too sure how to eat this, so I'm just gonna break some bread, pulp, and get some of the budgie, and some of the butter, and some of the cheese. That looks good, right? This bread is super buttery. I mean, look inside of that. It is super soft. You can kind of feel that it's been made this morning. Oh, and it's super crispy. This bottom part is super crispy. I think I'm gonna take some of the cheese and the butter. I'm gonna add it right on top so I can get all the flavors. Mm. That was really, really good. It's actually not too spicy, but it's very flavorful, it's yummy. You're saying that's not spicy? It's not too spicy, no. They say the puff budgie is spicy. I can't taste any spices, <laughs> but it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is really not spicy at all. I'm getting a massive cheese taste in here with all the vegetables. I'm liking the sauce because it's not spicy and it's not hitting the back of my throat like this morning's breakfast did. This is very nice and I love the cheese on top. Ooh, but because it's so hot, I think I'm going to taste some of this lassi to cool down a little bit. I'm not hot because of the spices, I'm hot because of the weather. It's really, really humid here in Mumbai. Mm. I just love a good lassi and this is one of them. Is it a sweet or a sour one? A sweet one. We, we know not to order a sour one ever again. <laughs> So the point of this video was to see if we could eat in Mumbai for an entire day for under $10. But after that pub budgie, I am absolutely stuffed and I cannot eat anymore. I think there's still so many dishes here that Mumbai has to offer, but I'm done. I'm yeah, out. I'm also completely done. So that meal cost us about $2. So we still have enough money to carry on eating, but we just got, we're done for now. <laughs>